that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible says, Go in all the world and preach the gospel. Proverbs chapter 1 says, Go into places of concourse, go into city gates. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is God manifested in the flesh. What I mean is Jesus Christ was 100% God and 100% man. Jesus as a man like us, he slept, he cried, he got tired, he got aggravated with the people, he had compassion, and yet as a human, he had something that we did not, we, that we, he does not have something that we have, sin. Jesus Christ was sinless perfection. Though Jesus was tempted, and even by Satan himself, he was tempted yet without sin. And what ran through the veins of Jesus is the blood of God, according to Acts 20:28. 20, And that blood that was shed upon Calvary's cross for our sins is the very blood of God himself. And you're not going to substitute God's blood with dragon guts of alcohol. There is no man-made drink that can come close to the blood of God that you would be so foolish to say that this is the blood of God. The Bible commands to take Jesus by faith, not orally. The Bible commands that Jesus is God. And the Bible commands that we're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Jesus himself said he must be born again. Now let me tell you what that is, because even a Jewish scholar had a problem with being born again. He says, what, am I supposed to go back into my mother's womb a second time? You see, every human that is born of a woman and a man, you are born into sin. For the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, yes, Jesus was born of a woman, and yet without a father. There was no sexual relations of Mary to produce Jesus Christ. It says it was of the Holy Ghost. And that is what the Bible calls a prophecy, the virgin birth. Now, let me tell you that Mary did not remain a virgin her entire life. After Jesus was born, her and Joseph got together, had at least three sons, and I think two daughters. And let me tell you, if you got three sons and two daughters by a man, you're no longer a virgin. But then again, we live in an age that people don't know what sex they are. We live amongst a group of stupid people and stupid religions that will defy the Bible. God said he made a man and he made a woman, plain and simple. You're foolish to think otherwise. Now, we are born of a mother and a father, and it was a test tube. You still need a mother and a father. You are a prophet.
product of the human race of Adam and Eve, and since you are a product of Adam and Eve, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And yet he was without sin. Thank you, I got one. Thank you. And yet when he died on that cross, God laid upon him every sin of sin of mankind upon the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You are never too evil, never too wicked to come before God as a sinner. He will never turn you away. If you were to come to that land and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And listen, I have dealt with two people in my life. I am too wicked. I am too vile for God. No, you're not. Come as a sinner that you are. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Come to the Lamb of God, which will take away the sin of the world. Now, it doesn't say the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world, but yours. It doesn't say that. And that verse in John says, Behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin. It's not plural. It's singular. It means every sin. No exclusions. No loopholes. Whatever you have done in your life, whatever you, whatever, how bad or how little it is, Jesus Christ is able to cleanse you. God said, come now. Let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Religion is not going to cleanse you. Religion will make you filthier. Because you have not come to God for your sins. You have trusted other means to wash away your sins. And you're adding to your sins. Religion's like, I'm going to take my car and I'm going to wash my car with mud. That's what religion is. Right, keep up the good work, folks. Amen. You're doing a good job. Keep up the good work. God sent forth his son to purchase us, redeem us. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and repent of your sins. The reason why you're going to die is because you're a sinner. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The one that was born of a virgin birth, the one that is God, says, I am the way. There is no other way to God. You can sit in the church pew all you want. Pew sinners are in hell today. You can be baptized with salt, with fresh water. Baptizers are in hell today. You can be good when the Bible says there is none that doeth good. There are good people in hell today. Why are they in hell? Because they have not put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. They have not placed, have not taken their sin, they have not repented of their sin and brought it to the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. 
Don't come, come to God. God. I'm, I'm a Baptist. Baptist. I'm a Catholic. I'm a Presbyterian. There are no Baptists. There are no Catholics. There's no Presbyterian. There's no agnostics in heaven. No such thing. You're either washed in the blood or you are lost. Lost men go to hell. Jesus said, I have come that I might seek them that are lost. And if you have never put your faith and trust in the finished work of Jesus, you might be lost. If you have come to Jesus with nothing but the gospel, nothing but the sacrifice of Jesus himself, only the blood of Jesus, you're saved. You are a Christian. And when you die, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Now trust in anything but the gospel. Anything but Jesus. And he died, and in hell he lifted up his eyes. That's Bible. Your family and friends that have gone off to a place that the devil's a bone wants us to tell you not to come. Luke chapter 16. So you see, your friends don't want to party with you in hell. They want you to hear the preaching, and they want you to believe on Jesus. According to Luke 16, by Jesus himself, by a man that is in hell still today, he's like, go preacher, tell my family. Don't come to this place of torment. He says there's no party in hell because of the fire. He says you can't drink alcohol in hell because of the fire. He says, I can't even get a drop of water in hell. A man in hell, according to Jesus, Luke 16 says, tell them don't come. Keep preaching, preacher man. Thank you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. And that is that Jesus suffered and died on the cross. That we might have eternal life. And that eternal life is in the Son. Now you got to be careful because the Bible says that there's another Jesus. There's another gospel. There's another spirit. The Pentecostal movement is another spirit not approved of God. Wow, preacher, you sure kick religion. That's right. I'm going to de declare to you the truth so you don't falsely go into hell thinking God approves of the nonsense you are in or believing. Man with his pity hair brain ideas think that God approves because they put God or Christian name on it and God doesn't. I'll tell you what the difference is between Jesus and religion. The empty tomb. Where religion is dead and Jesus is alive. Religion is man made by the authority of the devil and Jesus Christ is God approved. And Jesus Christ is the only means to get you into a place called heaven. Your priest, your rabbi, your pastor, your grandma, your mama, your water, whatever is not going to get you into heaven. Good intentions won't get you there. But by faith and belief and confessing and repenting of your sins. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And as far as unrighteous, the Bible says there is none righteous. Oh, no, not one. I love that verse. There is none righteous. In case you want to fight God, the scriptures say, no, not one. God is put in that verse like you're already going to argue with God. 
There's no arguing. God said it, that settles it. God doesn't care what you think. God doesn't care what you have to say. He never asked for your opinion. He said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Well, I go to church, go to hell. I'm going to do good. There's none that do good, go to hell. Don't pass go, don't collect $200, go straight to hell. Matter of fact, Jesus will tell you, depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. But I was a deacon in the first church. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And when God says, depart from me, he's, he's just as well saying, go to hell. And you don't have to go to hell. Put your faith and trust and repent of your sins to Jesus Christ, God. I mean the biblical Jesus. Don't go to the Catholic Jesus. Don't go to the, to the Jehovah Witness Jesus that's not God. Don't go to your religious Jesus. Come to the biblical Jesus, the Son of God, who is able to save your soul to the uttermost. And there's a big difference. Your eternal soul rests upon what you do with Jesus before you die. And if you go into heaven, be absent from the body and present with the Lord, you're not going to want to come back. You go off into hell. You know what's funny with that man I spoke about, Luke 16, that's in hell? He never asked to come out. He knew he was damned for all eternity. When you go into hell as a Christ rejected, you are, that's it, I'm finished, I'm done. But go tell my family. Check it out, Luke 16. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, chapter 16. And if you have a red-lettered Bible, it'll be in red. It's Lazarus and the rich man. Now, Lazarus went off into paradise. Abraham's bosom. We know the name of Lazarus. But when you enter into hell, you don't get a name no more. You see, in order to have a name, you must have your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. And the books were open. And whosoever was not found written in the Lamb's Book of Life was cast into the lake of fire that burneth forever. You're nameless in a place called hell and into the lake of fire. But there is one name above all names. And it's not Donald Trump. It's not Bernie Sanders. There's a name above all names whereby a man must be saved. And that name rises upon Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, people, but there are no Republicans in heaven. There are no Democrats in heaven. Politics can't save you. Religion can't save you. Only by the mercy and the grace of the gospel of Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. Put your vote in for Jesus. Come to him as a sinner that you are and repent of your sins. And be right with God through Jesus. Jesus Christ is, sa Jesus Christ is sacrificed is the satisfaction of God. That his son was obedient to the Father, to the cross. Jesus suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's what satisfies God. Now man, man is scriptural, the wages of sin is death, you will die, and you will be buried, cremated, whatever they, they do with your body, that's it. You're not coming out of that tomb of your own power, you're not coming out of that grave until God calls you. 
And the Bible speaks of an afterlife, only two. It's heaven by Jesus Christ, and it's hell by anything but Jesus. There's no third. Don't let your preacher, your minister, air condition hell because they're going for you. Don't think that every man or woman in the pulpit is going to heaven because many are not. You may be listening to the devil in your pulpit what Paul wrote to the Corinthian church. You got to read your Bible. Then you wouldn't be in these heresies and being deceived by the devil if you read and studied your Bible, which the Bible tells you to do. And many of you hate me. That's okay. The Bible says, have I become your enemy because i spoken to you in the truth? And that truth lies in Jesus. You're no good. You're worm food. You're dust. You can't get to heaven by your own whatever you want to do. God has, listen, God has no satisfaction even in me preaching the gospel. I'm a sinner. I need to repent. I'm a saved sinner going to heaven. And yet God could find somebody else to do this job. I am nobody of no importance. You don't even know the, need to know who I am. You need to know the name of Jesus. Mr. Muck over here mentions his name and all like that. Unless your name is the last book of life, it's mud. There is no greater, no name that is approved of God but the name of Jesus Christ. Politics can't do what God can do. You want to talk about a health care package? What about God? He gives you a brand new body with no sin, no pain, no sorrow, no more tears. Let's see the government in Washington, D.C. try that one. They already blew your health care plans. Let's try the government of America trying to do everything without sin when Jesus did everything without sin. Jesus was neither Republican, Democrat, whatever. He was a child, he was a son of God. And he knew exactly how he would die, and he knew exactly when he would die. And we know one thing, we're all going to die outside the rapture. For the wages of sin is death. Have you ever lied? Lying's a sin. I know it's not a lie in America, but lying is a sin. The wages of sin is death. You will die because you lie. Have you ever taken anything that's not yours without permission? That's called a thief. Thief is a sin. The wages of sin is death. Have you ever in any way mistreated your parents? When the Bible says in both Testaments, honor thy father and mother. Now you were just that 100% wonderful great child, I doubt not. I don't think so. And when you have been an unruly, disobedient brat, you have sinned, the Bible says, honor thy mother and father. Sinners die. And if sinners die, and they die without Jesus Christ, they go into a place called hell. I know your church doesn't mention hell. The preacher doesn't want you to know where he's going. The priest doesn't want to talk about his abode. But I tell you about hell because I am not going to hell by Jesus Christ and I preach that you may not go to hell by Jesus Christ. That you will put your faith and your trust and your repentance in God's Son upon the work of the cross and the empty tomb. Be 
believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Now let me tell you what a Christian is. There's a group of people out there saying they're Christians. They don't even know what a Christian is. I'm going to tell you what a Christian is. The biblical definition of a Christian. It's a man that comes to Calvary's cross and sees Jesus' dead body. He sees the blood. And he gets down on his knees and he says, Lord Jesus, that suffering, that blood is because of me. I deserve hell because I am a sinner. At this moment now, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask you to wash me through your blood with my sins that I have done. You are the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And you go into that tomb with that dead body. With your faith and belief and nothing else in Jesus. And you become a Christian when you come out of that tomb. He is not here. He is risen. And all your faith and all your trust is in Calvary. It's in that being buried. And it comes out of an empty tomb. You are now a Christian. If you think you're a Christian because you eat and drink the literal body of Jesus, you're not a Christian. You are a cannibal. And cannibalism is an abomination in all the places of the Bible. Nowhere in the church age epistle does it say come to a priest and tell him what your sins are. Nowhere in the Bible does it say go to Mary. The Bible says there's one mediator between God and man, the man. Mary don't fit, she's a female. The man Christ Jesus. How about when the Bible says call no man your father? What do you call that guy who wears his fruit in the room on his, on his neck backwards? I ain't calling him no father. The Bible says don't. It's abomination. And yet Jesus Christ is the righteous. Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God. And Jesus Christ alone is able to save you. Now listen, salvation... All right, if you were to put your faith and trust right now in Jesus, that may not solve your cancer. That may not solve your marriage problem. You might still battle with that sin for the rest of your life. But it will change your destination. And when you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, it's 100% assured that you will not go to hell. You will go to heaven. You have put your name in the last book of life, the reservation book, into heaven. Now, you may get praise, you may get blessings, you may be comforted by God, but that's, listen, I'm not going to say name it, claim it. I'm not going to say give God $10, he'll give you $10 million. No, no, that's a lie. He might bless you wonderfully if you believe on him. Listen, when I, when I came to know Jesus Christ as my Savior, I kicked the alcohol habit. And I kicked the cigarettes. God found me a good wife. And I raised two children. In the Lord. And here is one of them right here serving the Lord as a 17 year old girl from the womb. How's your children doing? The public school children today are all crazy with your red, blue, purple bills. Pills ain't going to take care of it. Only by the blood of Jesus Christ can you get this nation right. But the Bible's not allowed in the school, but you can give a free Bible in the prison. Something's wrong. Prison's too late for the Bible. The Bible says, bring the children unto Jesus. Suffer them not. Hey, I've been, I've been saved since April 21st, 1987. I have been in the public ministry since the 2000s. I have studied the Bible. I am what they call a doctor of philosophy. Doesn't mean nothing.
But I know what I'm talking about because I'm living the Christian life. Right now, I am living what you should be living for Jesus Christ. Your salvation, your going to heaven, is based upon only what you do in Jesus. Not what you do, but what you do with Jesus. You can be good all you want. There are good people in hell today saying, what happened? There are religious people in hell that thought they'd never go to hell. The devil, Satan, just laughs because he deceived him. The devil and Satan laughs because he used his, his agents, people in the pulpit, to deceive people into hell. You want to know another one that's against the Bible? And I've had people hate me for this one. You know what the Bible says a woman is not to assert the authority over a man? When you listen to Joyce Myers on TV and all the other women preachers and teachers, that's a violation of the scriptures. That's just what the Bible says. You're being deceived, folks. And when a man comes with the Bible and the gospel and the King James Bible and teaches that Jesus is the way, you hate it. And the Bible says you would hate it. And the Bible says many of you will go the broad way which leads to destruction. And few that be that find the straight gate. He said his microphone for you to quiet down your thing. What? He said his microphone to quiet down your thing. What? He said to quiet down your thing over the microphone. Don't let him go here, Tilly. I can't hear. I got a bad ear. The very fact is that Jesus Christ. is the only opportunity for you to get into a place called heaven. There is nothing else that will get you to heaven but by Jesus Christ. And yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to your false god called Allah. That's a false god. Mary is not a goddess. Crossing your legs and trying to get the ultimate ugu, that's that's religion, that's false. But Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the light. You don't have to cross your legs. You don't have to reach no... You just reach the Calvary's cross. And that blood that was shed upon the cross is the blood of God. And only by the blood of God are you able to be washed and be made clean by what God has done for you and what religion cannot do for you. You must come to Jesus if you want to go to heaven. And if you don't want to go to heaven, don't come to Jesus. And you'll burn in hell. But heaven is a wonderful place. In heaven is where we don't suffer. After we die, there's no more cancer. 
There's no more marriage problems. There's no more pain. No more confusion. No more pills. No more medication. No more sin. But you got to put your faith in Jesus. You got to go to heaven before you get that. And without Jesus, you will burn in a hell. And in hell, you'll be in torment. And being tormented for all eternity. And that's time without a clock. There is no time in hell. And in heaven, glory to God, there's no time either. Eternity is life without ending. And in heaven, you'll have no more pain. And in hell, you will have torment. Both in heaven and hell you'll have no more tears. In hell you would take those tears and dip the tip of your tongue. I'm already a believer. And the Bible says there's not even a drop of water in hell to comfort you. And in heaven you will have eyes to see God and Jesus. In hell you will have eyes in torment. In heaven you will have a tongue to proclaim that Jesus is your Savior. And in hell you will have a tongue in torment with no ointment. There is no suffering in heaven, but in hell, the Bible calls it torment, tormenting, and torments. In heaven will be satisfaction. And in hell, you know you're damned. Now they say we're going to eat in heaven, but I, I don't know. If we do, we do. But I know you don't eat in hell. If you can't get a drop of water, you ain't going to get a watermelon. That's the best place to go. That's right. And the loving God will throw you into hell because you rejected the love of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. We love him because he loved us. And only by Jesus Christ will the angels rejoice when you get your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Mr. Muck is going to be quite surprised when he finds his mucky self in hell because his music can't save him. And out of the testimony of his own mouth, the angels don't want him. The angels want me because I want Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Have you been washed in the blood of Jesus? Salvation is free 
and it's secure in the blood of Jesus Christ and not what you can do because it has been done through God already. Why won't you come to God for his free gift? What is your fear? The Bible says, come and see that the Lord is good. Now, when I mean come and taste Jesus, I don't mean you eat him. But I mean come and try God out. Won't you give God the best? Won't you just come and say, God, let me try that Jesus that the preacher teach. Let me try it. And you come with a willing heart, I will find that you will find that you will be satisfied. You will not have to go back to the doctor for a prescription with Jesus. To be satisfied. You may have to go back for your pain relief, but satisfaction by the fruit of the Spirit, love. Everybody wants love. Joy. Everybody wants joy. Peace. Everybody wants peace. Long suffering. Be able to put up with things. Patience. Oh boy. That's a bad one. Patience. But people, those are the fruit of the Spirit. You don't get the Spirit of God till you get Jesus. And without Jesus, you can get lost. And Jesus came to seek and to save those that are lost. Won't you try Him? Won't you even try the Son of God? What are you doing, my guys? Won't you see that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life? There is no other life except the life that's being offered by God through Jesus Christ. You are not safe without Jesus. You have no hope without Jesus. Because the Bible says that Jesus is the blessed hope. And without Jesus, you're a dope. You'd be a fool to go into hell trusting anything but Jesus. As far as atheism, the Bible says the fool has, has said in his heart, that there's no God. You know what God says about the atheist? You're a fool. You don't have to be an atheist to say there's no God. When you reject Jesus, you're saying, Jesus, you're not God. And when you say Jesus is not God, the fool has said in his heart that there's no God. Jesus is God. In the blessed name, above all names, whereby you must be saved, is in Jesus. Jesus is able to save your soul. Religion is able to save your money, but not your soul. When I left the Catholic Church, they still sent me their offering envelopes. Yes, it is, man. Nope. You believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, call no man your father. The Bible says there's one me between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Mary's not a man. 
responsibility to cancel it. The Catholic Church says they eat the literal body of Jesus and drink his literal blood. Uh, people, that is cannibalism. It's an abomination in all the parts of the Bible. The Word of Christ, Christ himself said that. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's right, not religion. It's by faith in the biblical in Jesus. The but biblical Jesus. Jesus. There's no hope in the Pope, folks. Jesus saves. <laughs> Only by the blood of Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. And that Catholics get angry because you tell them the truth, and wherefore have I become your enemy? Because I've spoken the truth. I was Catholic. I was Polish Catholic. And I have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. April 21st, 1987, I broke out of religion and put my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hallelujah, Jesus. I never ate Jesus since. I never drank Jesus since. I received Jesus Christ as my Lord, God, and Savior. Glory to God. My name is written down in the book. And that when I die, I'll be absent from this body and present with the Lord. By faith and belief in that he has washed my sins away. I don't go to a priest. I go to Jesus. I go to the blood of Jesus. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. <laughs> When you go to a man with your sins, he might be writing them down. He might be checking his list to see who's been naughty or nice. Got to watch out for religion. Religion is man-made, devil-approved. Jesus Christ is God-honored and God-approved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And when Jesus says there's no other way, there's no other way. At the cross, at the cross, where I received the life, I have been washed in the blood of Jesus. I am a child of God through Jesus, and you can be too. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Glory to God in the highest. Not glory to self, not glory in my church. Not glory in the flesh, but glory in Jesus. God is able to save our soul. I know where I am going through Jesus. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. For we are saved by grace through faith and not of works, lest any man boast. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You know what I'm doing? I'm confessing Jesus. I am confessing that Jesus can save you. You think I'm preaching. I'm just confessing the very loud voice that God gave me. There's only one great thing for this loud voice to proclaim. That Jesus saves. Jesus alone. Oh, not opinions, belief. Let's get it right. Well, tell Walmart I don't like the music in the overhead. I don't like the music over the overhead in the stores. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. I just happen to be in the right place. For God so loved the world. 
that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The fool has believed in his heart that there is no God. God has said, Believe on the Believe Lord on Jesus Lord, Christ, and thou shalt ah, be asshole. saved. Oh, have big fat people. Big fat people are usually. If your asshole. name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, yeah. you'll be cast off into the lake of fire that burneth forever. And there you will proclaim that Jesus is the Lord. Proclaim it now. Repent of your sin and believe that Jesus is the only way of salvation. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Your eternal life rest upon what Jesus had done. And the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. It doesn't mean go in all the world and proclaim your foolishness. It says, proclaim the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to God. And you can go ahead and mock, because the Bible said you're going to mock. All right, no. You fools are written in the Bible. It's so simple. Written in the scripture, the word of God, you're a fool. I'm not. God loves the feet of them that carry the gospel. Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as I try to find this page to win. The Bible says that wisdom crieth without. She utters her voice in the streets. She cries in the chief place of concourse. I would assume a barber's market would be good. In the openings of the gate. In the city she utters her words saying, How long, ye simple ones, will love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. The Bible says when you don't come to the preacher preaching Jesus, you don't want to know. The Bible says you're a fool. Proverbs chapter 1. You'll be foolish to go into hell when you heard from a preacher that preaches Jesus and how not to go to hell. Salvation can only be finished by the one that said it is finished and that was set upon the cross. That cross of Jesus can be your turning point of going to heaven or going to hell. You must come to the cross of Jesus. 
That woman would have had a great shopping experience without the preacher. Well, I'm offended what the world does. And I approve what God wants. He wants you to preach the gospel. You don't like it? Tough. I'm doing my job. You scorned. The Bible said you were scorned. But I'm going to lift up the one that saved my soul. I'm going to lift up the one that loved me enough to die for me. He died for you. He loved you enough that you might have eternal life. That you may come into his abode called heaven. By faith and belief. You don't like it because God is holier than you. You don't like it because Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And the light of Jesus shows you who you truly are. You are a sinner. You are a disgrace of God. Because you have not put your faith in Jesus. And without Jesus, it is hell after you die. This is not hell. This is nice and cool. Nice good breeze today. Nice good fresh fruit. Somebody probably has water or a drink that you can buy. You're not going to get that in hell. Johnny's got some great fruit here. You're not going to find him in hell with his fruit. He's going to be in glory. Probably sitting underneath the tree of life. Without Jesus, you won't be there. Everybody comes here for one dollar, guys. Everybody going to get it for one dollar. It's all our brothers, guys. Johnny, throw this money away. No, just sometimes I think <laughs> I got a, a lot of bundles inside and I don't throw it away, I give it to the church. Amen. So that way we get grow and get big. That's the Lord what he's saying. We have to grow. Yes. On him. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now shalt be saved. Saved from what? It's hell. Listen, I don't care if your church doesn't preach hell. That don't make hell not there. It's there. God said it was there. Jesus said there's a hell. It was made for the devil and his angels. I came to, to seek that which is lost, Jesus said. Jesus said, I am the way. The truth and the light. No man cometh unto the Father, heaven, but by me. God wants you to repent. He don't care what you feel and how you feel. I don't care either. Listen, the more you come up to me, the more you encourage me to go further and longer. I love to preach about Jesus. I love to open up my mouth with Jesus. It's a shame that you do not. It's a shame that you will reject God. It's a shame that you will not take God at His word. And at His word is there is salvation. There is a resting place. And that resting place is in the sun. And that the sun suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And without the sun you will not have life. 
Without Jesus, you will have no satisfaction. You are lost. And Jesus came to seek and to save that which is lost. I mean, 2020 and 1997 are a lot of years I've served the Lord. I would not give it up for all the riches. I would not give it up for all the fame. I couldn't give it up anyway. The Bible says I have a salvation that no man can lose. No man can... I couldn't lose it if I wanted to lose it. The Bible says no man can pluck me out of his hand. And you, if you have believed. There is nothing finer than Jesus. Pain medicine is good when you're in pain, but you won't have it in hell when you're in torment. There is no relief in the fires of hell. But to go where God is into heaven, there is relief. And thou shalt believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. God's grace and God's mercy is through His Son. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. There is no other satisfaction of God. Except the satisfaction in Jesus Christ alone. And when you reject Jesus, you are rejecting God because God is Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. You know what happens when you take something, you, it perishes, you throw it out, and it goes into the incinerator. God will throw you out and put you in his incinerator, which is hell, if you will not believe on Jesus Christ. You cannot be saved, and you cannot be saved without Jesus. Jesus said he's the way, there's no other way. Well, I got religion, that's another way, that ain't it. Religion's not Jesus. You want to know how I know? R-E-L-I-G-O-N. Jesus. J-E-S-U. -E -S. They're not the same. See, Mom taught me how to spell. He said, G he say, Preacher, I'm good. When the Bible says there's none that do is good, the Bible has taken your good and has scratched it out because the only good is Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You're not good enough. You will never be good enough. Good people are found in hell too. 
And the only way to get out of hell is to put your faith and trust and repent of your sins to Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who would take away the sin of the world. You have no hope without Jesus, for the Bible says Jesus is the blessing. You see, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get to heaven, living against the Bible. Dale, how you doing? Died. Summer. You got uh, lung cancer. It went real quick. She had other problems still. She's in heaven without pain. I want to thank you for all you've done for us. You been okay? Yeah. Egypt? Yeah. yeah. Amen. I'm just staying back. Yeah. Amen. Nice to see you. Keeping you in prayer, brother. Thank you. There's a man that goes over into Egypt for Jesus. He goes over there and tells the Egyptians about Jesus. There's nothing better than Jesus. I love story. Oh, no Jesus, no ticket to heaven. There you go. Yeah, he's coming back. He could come back right now. Leave you markers behind. Take my behind. And leave you because you won't believe. And I know what will happen if Jesus came right now and we went. You'll be all clapping. You take my Bible and burn it. Okay. But the day I was saved, April 21st, 1987, the angels applauded and rejoiced in heaven, the Bible says. You want to make the angels happy? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That will please the angels. You want to make the devil happy? Reject Jesus. Choose anything but God. That will make the devil happy. And you don't want to please the devil. Because where you go, he won't, you won't be pleased. It is so simple to trust in Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Again, salvation is not going to solve your problems on this earth. It may help. But the principal power of salvation is you will go from hell to heaven by Jesus. That's 100%. But God may bless you through Jesus. I'm not saying he's not going to, but I'm not going to make that promise. I will promise through the faith of Jesus you will go to heaven. I will promise that if you reject Jesus, you will go to hell. There are people who suffer that go to heaven. And there are people that don't suffer and go to hell. There are people that call good evil and evil good. No, it's called preaching, ma'am. Thank you. It's called preaching. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. That's what it's called. And for the preaching of Jesus, they gave him a cross. <laughs> and for such foolishness, give you hell. Unless you repent. And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other means to heaven except through Jesus.
Have you been washed in the blood? I didn't say washed in water. I didn't say washed in church. Have you been washed in the blood? Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. God says, come now. Let us reason together. That's God speaking. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. The cleansing tide of sin is the blood of Jesus. It is not the wine of communion. It is the blood of Jesus that saves. If you want to be satisfied after you die, come to the satisfaction of God. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. God will save you if you come through Jesus, repent of your sins and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no other hope than the hope that lies in Jesus and his finished work. The name of Jesus, there is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. For I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, for thou art with me. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. When you come short, you fall, and you fall into hell. And if you want to bridge that gap, the bridge to God is the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto me, no man cometh unto the Father, but by me. And then words were spoken by Jesus. Jesus will save your soul from hell. Religion is the highway to hell. And the only exit off that highway is to put your faith and belief and trust in Jesus. Your baptism can't save you. Your works can't save you. Your church can't save you. You can't save you. Being a Southerner can't save you. The Republicans can't save you. The Democrats can't save you. Nothing can save you but the blood of Jesus. There is no hope but in the blessed hope of Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus as you are. A sinner that needs to be saved. 
when Jesus came to seek and to save that which is lost. You cannot and will not make it to heaven without Jesus. And if you want to be a Jehovah Witness, you have to be of Judah, Israel, of the 12 tribes, Dan. I know Dan doesn't make it. You have to be of the 12 tribes of Israel to be of the 144th. There's only 144,000. And the Jehovah Witnesses are over a billion and climbing. You have to be a virgin to be of the 144,000. So a Jehovah Witness that has children, you're not going to make it. You have to be a male. There are female Jehovah Witnesses that have given birth to children. You won't make it. And you have to believe that Jesus is Jehovah and Jehovah is Jesus. You won't make it as a Jehovah Witness. Listen, Satan has men in the pulpits. Oh, and women in the pulpits. He even has street preachers out there. I've met a few. But he doesn't have the hope in Jesus. He doesn't have the hope in the Word of God. And your hope in Jesus and the Word of God is the only means of salvation to get to heaven. And there's no purgatory. There is heaven or hell. Candles won't do it. But by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. It's to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And without Jesus, your eternal life will be hell. And without Jesus, there is no hope. And without Jesus, there is no love. There is no joy. The world's joy is temporal. It don't last. You must come to Jesus and repent and to believe by faith that He is the Lamb of God who would take away the sin of the world. And when you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, then the angels re will rejoice that you are a child of God. And the angels will want you to go and come to be before God the Father forever through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. For there is no other name given amongst men whereby ye must be saved. There is no other hope but the blessed hope. And that hope is in God's Son, who is God, which is Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou, be, thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. They went that way. They left me, huh? Thank you. <laughs> they went that way on you. You have any motor guys that get stuck like that? I'm putting my here. I got a little bit of 
you realize one day everything you've done without Jesus is going to be made manifest? Everything that your mom doesn't know, everything that your spouse doesn't know, is going to be revealed before God, before everybody that you know. Your true feelings, your true thoughts, your double tongueness will be made aware if it's not under the blood of Jesus. When your sins are not covered before the blood, they will be made known. Every time you cheated, every time you lied will be made re revealed without the blood. The Bible says that the great white throne judgment for the lost people, the books were open. And they were judged by their works. There's your work. And if your name is not found in the Lamb's book of life, with your works, Jesus will tell you to depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. In other words, Jesus will tell you to go to hell. After he suffered and died for you and you rejected him. You're a fool. <laughs> Say what you will about this preacher, it is okay. God is pleased. Romans chapter 10. God is satisfied with the preacher of his son and the cross. Your eternal life rests upon what you do with Jesus. Receive Jesus and God will receive you. Reject Jesus and God will reject you. And when you receive Jesus, you'll receive a well done. And when you reject Jesus, you'll receive a depart from me. And when you receive Jesus, and you die, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. And when you reject Jesus, you'll die and be buried and wake up in hell. And you won't come out. In heaven, you won't want to go. In hell, you won't come out. But you appear before God in Revelation 20. And you will be judged. And if your name is not in the Lamb's Book of Life, you'll be cast into the lake of fire that burneth forever. Because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. that simple.